George's, uh, let's see if I can get it right. This was George's grandfather right here. And this was his uncle right here. And I, he used to paint his figures. I like to bring some of the Cajun paintings with me and I just haven't done it because they're so large. Um, they're really, really pretty cool. But what he did is, one of you I think had mentioned how black and white they are and all of the contrast like that. What he did was, he painted these trees, as I said, he cut them off at the top. He did that all the way through. This is a later one, obviously, with these bright colors. But he started that in his Cajun works, all the way through, every painting. And he said that one day he wondered, what would a person look like who walked out from behind one of my trees? Well, they'd be pretty primitive looking because they're outside. And he thought, hmm, okay. I'm descended from those four Rogers brothers who walked from Tanner. It's not like they could Google up what does Louisiana look like? What's going to be there? They had to have hope. So I'm going to come up with some symbolism here to describe all that. And this could apply to any, any of George's paintings. He cut the tree off at the top, inviting us all in, as you know. But by doing that, it makes the sky small and it puts the light in the background, right? It puts the light in the distance. He described that light as hope. That was the hope of the Cajun people to make home for themselves there. And then in his later paintings, he talked about that hope as being another kind. Hope that maybe tomorrow would be better than today. And the day after that, even better. And then he did it a lot in that last year before he died. And by the time he was diagnosed with his cancer, and I think it probably was another kind of hope by then. The other thing was this. This person walking out from behind the tree. Okay, they're gonna be primitive looking. But then what? They're under a tree, a big oak tree. They're in shadow. To be real, they're in shadow, right? Oh no, that's not gonna work. He wanted these contrasts, these very strong statements, so he came up with this really cool idea. I'm gonna paint my figures always wearing white clothing, dressed in white. Their heads will never touch the sky, and they will be framed within my trees. Can you see that? They're completely framed within the shapes of the trees and bushes. By doing that, I'm gonna show them not in shadow because the light on my figures is not the sunlight and it's not a spotlight. It's an inner light. It's an inner light. They glow with their culture and with the spirit, just like all of you do and shine from the inside out. That's why they, they're like this. And I'm gonna make it look, by framing them in these shapes like this, I'm gonna make it look like, like almost like they're paper dolls, like they're cut out and pasted on here. Can you see that? Just like the Cajun people were cut out of Canada. 